Hi, this is Dr. Homer Lim and you're listening to your Holistic Health Podcast. Good afternoon guys. Welcome to our weekly talk here at Akesis Holistic Health. I'm Dr. Homer Lim. So today we're going to be discussing uh, a system or a, a diagnostic device no, wherein we can check our energy field or what we call yung aura no i think oh, the title of this um, title of this talk is actually how to to measure or to know your uh, the inner, inner light so actually our bodies no do produce light no it's the only issue there is because the amount of light that we produce is not as strong so we don't really see it there however there are many uh, psychics or those who see auras, those who see special abilities to see auras, they can see the aura of people. So, but actually, there is uh, a science behind this. Uh, it's called uh, biophotonics. Bio meaning life, photon meaning uh, light. So, biophotons. So, it's called biophotonics. So, uh, this started with, uh, I think, one of the earliest uh, proponents of this that popularize this uh, what we call biophotonics or inner light is called uh, Kirlian photography wherein they they picture your aura or they picture the energetic fields using x-ray plates no so they took pictures of plants of animals of humans so it's called Kirlian photography you know and then um, it was further upgraded no so they have many cameras now that have shown to actually take pictures of your aura. However, during the earliest time, you have to be in a room of zero uh, light. So it's hard to set up a place or a room with zero light. And then they put a special camera to take your auric field or aura. No? So um, then as more uh, technology became advanced, the cameras being more uh, sensitive. No? So now, and then uh, ideas came up of why not instead of you know putting you in a dark room maybe we can measure your aura by you know measuring the auric field or the aura of fingers no so one of the things that came out was we call the bio it's called bio weld so i'm not selling the machine but we do use this this is one way for us to measure your uh, energy your aura your chakras uh, based on Chinese medicine, um, so because the in Chinese medicine the, your fingers are like um, can be measured using either electricity or again light in measuring your body or your organ system. No, so in what we call the bio biophotonics or biofield uh, research, no, in light what we call yung light auric field or auric light branch of uh, medicine no it's making diagnostics based on your uh, energetic field no so just to give you an uh, an idea how it looks like so this is actually the machine no so what you actually do here uh, is you take your this is a, has a camera inside so you could see here so there's a mirror and there's actually a camera so again as i mentioned to you before earlier no um a while ago before they would measure your your light or your auric field when you're in a completely zero light room now they because of technology uh, becoming more advanced and they learned uh, maybe there are other ways of measuring it without putting you in an extremely dark room so they they now can use measure your light by using a finger so when we measure we actually put of each finger at a time so all the 10 fingers the light is measured so once once those light uh, once those uh, pictures it's actually a picture no? I'll show you how it looks like so it takes picture of your each individual fingers so you could see here you have 10 fingers so it actually measures the light of the fingers okay and those light is then uh, processed it's processed in um, in a server in russia because this is a russian technology russian device so uh, then it measures it gives you an, an this gives you an idea 
of how your auric field looks like. This is side view, front view, and on the right side view, right? So you have like a some sort of a 3D view of your auric field. So what you're looking at actually are uh, if there are disturbances in your auric field, meaning we want the auric field to be uh, um, almost uniform, not too many spikes. Uh, this is my field. You could see there are some spikes here on the back near the neck. So that's because I'm having some back uh, neck pain, you know, when we took this scan, um, right? So you could see that there's some form of uh, too much uh, spike there. That's because of the energy field being more intense is because of the pain that I was experiencing at that time. So you could see here, you could also see uh, your chakra if you are, if they are number one, aligned. Number two, the sizes also of the chakras also is uh, important. So you could see some of them are uh, quite big. Some of them are, some of them are actually out of, out of line because we want them to be here at the center. Okay, and then here we have here individual, what we call individual uh, measurement. So you have their different regions using Chinese uh, medicine. So then you have uh, scan analysis, your energy field, is your organs balanced, is your, uh, if, your, if your energy is good or bad. So this quite actually gives you a, a, a very good overview uh, for... Uh, Especially, I, I would suggest this for uh, people who are um, into acupuncture or into energy medicine. If they, you know, a lot of those energy healers, they are very, how do you say, particular or very uh, conscious of their chakras. So this is one way for you to be objective with regards to your measuring your auric uh, field as well as your chakra. So, so that's what we call the bio well machine which measures your uh, auric field or uh, what we call the bio photon so you could actually go and search online you'll be surprised that there is a a large group of research doctors from russia europe united states uh, researching on light which is called biophotonics um, i'm sure in a few years time this will be more widely accepted in the conventional uh, medicine because it, this is it's a scientific field there is data showing that it's really accurate in not only uh, helping you with uh, your chakra it's actually very important because they want to do research on uh, looking at auras and predicting if you have certain diseases so there are many uh, patterns so when you see an aura there are many patterns that uh, they are looking at where they can actually diagnose already if you have kidney problems, heart problems, or you have cancer. So this is this is a very um, important uh, field when it comes to diagnosis. So I'm sure in a few years time this will be more uh, more accepted and more main mainstream in terms of uh, diagnosis. Okay, so it measures your aura. Okay. So I'm not selling the machine, okay? So I don't make money at, as, you know, trying to... I just want to show you people that there are machines out there that are actually very uh, effective and uh, actually quite helpful, especially for those who are in the field of uh, Chinese medicine, energy medicine, as well as those practicing uh, meditation or yoga. So this very, very... Uh, nice nice device to actually to have okay now i will read some questions from our listeners and answer them in this segment it can predict or detect energy field imbalance so when we say energy field it doesn't mean that energetic field there's some it's weak or it's too high energy sometimes when you go to the laboratory your ultrasound your blood test sometimes it's not it's normal because what it detects is the energy field so if if there is a what we call very uh, strong weakness you no know, then it will show on your uh, other scans like your ultrasound ct scan blood test 
However, if it's very early, you only see, um, you don't really see anything on the conventional blood test, only on these uh, tests because they test the energetic uh, parameters, no? Or energetic signature of uh, organs, no? Thank you for listening to your Holistic Health Podcast. This is Dr. Homer Lim. Now, if you do have questions about your health or you would like to request topics for our next podcast, please do message us at our FB page or Instagram at Akesis Holistic Health or you may visit our website at www.akesisholistic.com. Thank you again and please do come back for our next episodes.